Okay, let's go do this Dr. Carrington thing. And I'll be done with it. I mean, I did want this to just be like my place to come to, but like, I'm never gonna come here. Or, might as well put some beds down, make some people happy. Not really ha necessarily happy, but <laughs> have some people live here, is what I'll say. But this is. Nice little home, took me forever to set up. I like it. Whoever will have some fun with it, you know. What the hell? Where do you belong to? Yes. Provisioner I have that comes here probably. Up step tree. All right. Just ahead. So I mean, with the Cabot House thing, you know, I would keep Jack Cabot because, like, I love him and I love aliens and I love the way he talks about it and how passionate he is. But, like, because I'm the same way and everything, but, like, also, um, think about it. Keeping Lorenzo alive, he is somebody infinitely stronger who will live. Maria's in charge. Who will live so much longer with, like, he's so much smarter, stronger, he'll live longer, and he'll be able, he has alien technology implemented into his brain. Like, imagine the things he could do once he harnesses the full capability of it all. Like, I don't know. I think letting him live is the right choice because he can advance humankind. Like, imagine him having a kid or this having many children limits. being best that along. he'd live long, longer than any of his spouses, you know, like, stuff like that. Edward Deegan sent me. I'm looking so, for a missing package. Oh, it's, I believe you're the it's new right girl. Choice, no so matter what. Package. And I mean, like, without Pretty Lorenzo, sure we know Edward, or uh, Jack that Abbott and all them are just going to die and creamery. turn to crumble just to dust the from their real age within days. So, possibly. Or they could age out normally from there on out. But they will die, and, like, <laughs> they would have accomplished not a whole lot. But Lorenzo, he has this uh, alien technology implemented into him. Like, he is, with the little modifications, the peak of human evolution. And he could go on to have many, many children that could be like him. Thanks for your help. I think that sure thing. they should, hey. like, uh -huh. it's like definitely scouting place or something. do something about that. Like, I'll take that out in the next out. fallout. And, like, have a mention to Lorenzo living and like his children being like a weird like cult thing that live out in like their own little place with like a lot of technology that they made themselves like a whole bunch of shit like that that would be so cool shit better be up here I don't know if I even remember doing this, really. Oh, well. Uh... 
I think after this one I'll call it a night, you know? Get up, motherfucker! Jesus Christ. Serious serum. Yeah. And then there's that. Ah, there's one of my dudes. He looks kind of fucked up, actually. I don't know why I made him a protectron either, like the slowest motherfucker around. Got the thingy. Return it. Yeah, that was weird. I fucking walked. I was walked up to the Cabot house, and that rope, that sentry bot was alive. And then I walked out of the Cabot house, and the fucking thing like explodes and falls into pieces. And I was like, "What the fuck happened while I was gone?" I told it that I knew what it was going to say, and that I knew it was going to tell me to keep off the grass, and the shit just explodes. Fuck. Come on. Good day to you. Now it's over here. And not in a billion pieces, but still dead. If you find any spare parts, Hello there. let me know. That is not acceptable. Imogene is missing, and I want her found. She's not missing, Mother. Do you know where she is? No, but that doesn't Your sister mean... is missing, and I want her found. What else is Edward for if not to keep the family safe? I'd be happy to send someone to look for her, ma'am. It's not a... Mother, Edward hey, has don't better things to do than sending matter. someone out to find Imogene. Hey. Yes, ma'am. Again. Over here. I don't think you're okay, even listening done. to me, Jack. I'm not going to have Edward drop everything just because Imogene Wait there. decided to no take problem. a lover again. Jack, how dare you speak so disrespectfully about your sister? I <clears throat> can't bear to so did you find out what happened to the courier? Right now. Mother, will you let it go, please? <laughs> Imogene is out there somewhere, maybe even lying dead in a ditch, and you don't even care. She's a grown woman. She's perfectly capable of looking after herself. Some raiders set up camp near Parsons and ambushed him. I took care of them. Hmm. I don't like raiders operating so close to Parsons. I hope this isn't the start of something serious. What about the serum he was carrying? Did you get any of it back? Hmm. There was only this one vial left. Oh, good. I was afraid we wouldn't get any of it back. Here's your pay for the job. I'm throwing in a little bonus for bringing back the serum. That was good work. Now, as far as what's next... Oh, hell. I guess it's time you met Wilhelmina. Jack's not gonna be happy about it. Come on. 
They're still arguing. I don't think you're even listening to me, Jack. Mother, will you let it go, please? Jack, I'll take care of it. Mrs. Cabot, don't worry. I'll send someone to find Imogene. Thank you, Edward. I can always count on you. It's gonna be me, years isn't it? Devoted as dear Edward. <sighs> you shouldn't indulge her, Edward. It just makes her more impossible to deal with next time. Just doing my job. Speaking of which, here's all we got back of the last delivery from Parsons. Raiders got the rest of it, I'm sorry to say. Ah, good. Finally. This will help settle Mother down. Imogene is Jack's sister. You probably figured that out yourself. She's, uh, a little flighty. Impulsive. From time to time, she mm. runs off. Usually with a new boyfriend. Then I send somebody to bring her home. Do you know where she's gone? No, but it shouldn't be too hard to find out. She's been spending a lot of time in Good Neighbor. That's a jazz club there, the third rail. Somebody there must know something. She's not known for keeping her mouth shut. Got it. Off to Good Neighbor then. All right, off to Good Neighbor then.